Okay, so today we're going to be talking about binomial distributions, and in particular with GeoGebra and using GeoGebra on binomial distributions. So here I have a problem out of our book, um, and we're going to go through this and try and work this binomial distribution. Uh, one thing that makes things binomial is that you have a success and you have a failure. So let's kind of set th some things up before we continue to uh, go on with the questions here. So let's talk about it. So in this uh, example, we have in the 2013 Jerry's Artarama, I think that's how you say that, um, art supplies catalog, there are 560 pages. Eight of the pages feature signature artists. Suppose that we randomly sample 100 pages. So let X equal the number of pages that feature signature artists. So here, what we're talking about is a success is that we choose a page that is features that features a signature artist artist so here we're choosing uh we're saying that a success is that we choose a page that features a signature artist features features a signature artist so let me just turn this into blue and bold it so we have different colors to see that this is me entering it. All right, so this is, a, this is what a success means, right? And X being the number of pages that feature the signature artist, right, is, is um, the options that we have. So, so I only have eight pages of signature artists. So if X is the number of pages that feature a signature artist, um, then we only have the possibilities of zero, I could have zero pages with signature artists on it because that's a possibility, right? I only have eight and it's out of 100 that I am sampling. So I could have zero pages that have signature artists. I could have one page out of 100 that has zero signature artists on it. I could have two, I could have three, and let me put some spaces in here. Space, space, right? Space, three, four, five, six, Seven, or I could have eight out of all the eight pages with signatures artists happen in this sample of a hundred pages. All right, so these are all my possible values X can take on. So let me bold this and make it blue like I did before. The other thing we need when we're talking about binomial, right? So binomial being we have a success and failure, right? Success is that we choose a page with signature artists and the failure is that we don't right so what we need is the probability of that success so we need the probability that we choose a signature artist that we have a page with a signature artist on it page that features a signature artist So the probability of that success, right, is given within this information because I have eight total pages out of 600, 560 pages. Yes, I do know math, I think. <laughs> so I have eight out of 560 pages total as the probability of that one success of pulling one page out of the whole total 560. This has nothing to do with the sample we're talking about. It's just the probability of that one success. Okay, so with that in mind, let X equal the number of pages that feature a signal charter. So we have all these possibilities from zero to eight, right, that make up all the possible outcomes I could get. So, now we can go on and answer what is the probability distribution. The probability distribution is either we can list out <clears throat> we can list out the graph, the probability frequency bar graph, or we can list out the probability distribution, the probability frequency table. Right? Many words we can kind of use here to mean the same thing. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use GeoGebra to calculate the probability distribution in a bar graph. So let's do that. 
in order to do this, right, well, I'm doing a probability distribution. So let me come over to GeoGebra and think about what I can type in there. So, hmm, I wonder. So binomial distribution. Oh, well, let me just try and type by. No, oh, oh, oh. So in my nice computer here, it just kind of tells me that what's coming up, my options here, and it's showing me binomial dist, right? Binomial dist. So on your phone, it doesn't give you that option if you're using your phone for a test, right? But I can go on and say binomial dist, right? So if I'm just typing this up, if I want my cheat sheet for my test, I have binomial distribution. I put parentheses. Let me go back to that. What I like about this is it tells you, right, what goes where, right? And these are kind of the things you would probably want to write down on your cheat sheet. How to spell binomial in the first place, if you're anything like me in spelling, right? The number of trials goes here. The probability of success goes here. This is actually the technically the one we're going to use for this distribution that we're talking about. Whereas this one we're going to use for the other things that we're going to answer as well. So, okay. So let's use this one, but I am just going to type it in as if I was on a test. So I'm going to use some parentheses. So I got binomial disk with my parentheses. The first number is the number of trials. So the number of trials I am doing, right, I am pulling 100 pages. So I could get this success on any of these 100 pages. I don't know where, I don't know when it'll happen, but it could happen, right? Or it could not in the case of the zero case. So, all right, so binomial distribution. I wanna do this, so let's put it in there. So binomial distribution. So this is my number of trials. So I got 100 trials, right? And then I also have comma, right? The next thing would be the probability of that success, the probability that we randomly choose a page and it has a signature artist on it. Nothing to do, again, with that 100 pages. It is just the probability of success that we calculated up here. It is 8 out of 560. And if you noticed, right when I did that, it came up with something. I can't really see what it looks like right now, so, uh, but it did do something. So, but before I go to that, right, GeoGebra gets a little confused sometimes when you uh, don't finish the problem off. So by finishing off, what I mean is I need to hit enter. So I can either use this key down here or I can physically hit enter on my keyboard if I'm using that. So just to make sure that GeoGebra solidifies what we just did, okay? And we can move on and possibly do something else that we need to do. So I got my binomial distribution there, but I can't see it too well. So let me come over here and I'm gonna go to settings and I'm gonna go zoom fit, zoom to fit. And from there I can possibly zoom in and zoom out. So it kind of shows the distribution. I don't like re really the way this is showing it because in this problem we have more pages that we're sampling than we do actual um, um, possible values X could take on. And so what GeoGebra is doing here is essentially saying, oh, uh, for this next one, or the, the 16th position or the 15th position or the 20th position, there's no way that I can get uh, uh, an, enough of these pages with a success on there because I'm done after eight. So it's giving me zero for everything after eight. So let me come in here. I'm just gonna look at this so and show you right that we have some probabilities even all the way to eight even all the way to eight. So this is eight, right? In between 7.5 and um, um, 8.5. So it's giving me a little bit of a probability, but nothing after that, just zeros, 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 because there's no way I can get 12 pages when I'm only have eight in the pile. So kind of thing. All right. So with that in mind, right, let me zoom out again. Whoop, 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 whoop. There we go. I don't know why I was making that noise. This is my probability distribution. And if I wanted to, maybe I can um, take my axes um, and zoom a little bit more into my x-axis, expand it a little bit more in the sense that I could go from um, negative 2 maybe, just to have a negative, negative 2, to maybe since I'm going to eight, let's go a little bit above that. Let's go to 10. 
and hit enter and let's see what happens. So, and so that looks a little bit better. I'm going to zoom out now to see it. I think I maybe needed to use the x-axis. That looks better. So let me just do that. So I'm going to just copy this over. So I'm going to use my little feature here, and I don't know what that button is. So, oops, let me crop it. So that way we can have this to possibly refer to later. So here we go. Here's by binomial distribution, control C. I'm going to put it over here, control V. And let me do some little word magic to make this in front of text and move over. And it's too big, so. We'll move it up. All right. And why not? All right. With this, I could stretch it out a little bit. We could see it maybe a little bit better. And here's my binomial distribution. All right. Here. Bam, 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 bam. We got my arrow. Oh, that was cool. I didn't know where it does actual arrows when you do that. All right, so we got my arrow for my binomial probability distribution. All right, with that in mind, maybe we can answer some questions using this. These are actually the heights of our probability distribution if we wanted to do that, and still trying to work on figuring out what those heights are and how to have those listed for me, which might make these questions easier if we can get that. Okay, with that in mind, let's go on and move on to these questions. So if I wanted to calculate an individual probability, so the probability that two pages feature signature artists, just two pages. I want two pages out of the total 100 pages that I sample. This could happen in many different ways. I could get two right up front and then 98 with no signature artists is after it. Right? I could get one first and one last, right? Many different options here. So many that we don't even want to count them kind of thing. We can use GeoGebra to help us calculate this probability, right? Not only can we possibly see it here, right? This would be the probability of zero, probability one, probability two looks to be about 0.24-ish somewhere, maybe 0.245. I don't know. That's the problem. I want to find that number kind of thing. So if I could get that number in GeoGebra, it would be awesome. But I can, in general, get that number by entering a different format of this binomial distribution. So let's start talking about it. Here we go, binomial distribution, all right, dist, all right? And I am gonna use technically this last one right here. So this last one tells me my number of trials, right? My probability sets just like before. And then I'm gonna put in the variable value, the variable value in this case, my outcomes that I want is I want two signature artists out of this 100. And I'm not going to put two divided by 100. I am going to put two as my variable. I am looking at this option of two right here. And what is the probability of getting two pages with signatures artists on it out of the 100? All right. So and then for Boolean cumulative, I am going to put false because I am not doing a cumulative thing. I am just calculating the probability of two of them only. All right, so let's do that. So I'm going to type in my number of trials, which is 100, comma, my probability of success, which is 8 out of 560. I'm going to scooch over to type in the uh, x value that I want. The value that I want here is exactly 2, not adding anything to it exactly two. And then I'm also going to type in false because I do not want a cumulative result. I do not want to add the other options that are below two to two. All right, the other probabilities, I should say. And there is my probability of getting two. So what am I talking about here? So let's write it in, um, in terms of our mathematical notation our statistical notation. I am talking about calculating the probability that x, my random variable, right, my variable, 
in this case, equals 2. So this is the mathematical notation.